There's a cool free website called VectorDad.com. I'll put a link in the video description below. He says here on the right-hand side, his name is Sasrud. He's the founder of VectorDad. I don't know if he's an actual dad. I don't really care. Uh, nothing against his children. Please don't hate me. But I do care that he's got a vector tool. And so we're going to check this out. So pretty easy to do here. There's a photo to line drawing tool right here. It says load image to outline. I'm going to click this button and it's going to take us to the page to get started. From here, we can browse an image file. And I've got three possible images here. I'm going to pick the simplest one to start here. It's a Ford Mustang. It's a black car. And we can see it just instantly changes into vector art. And we can change the details here on a slider. We can make it more detailed or less detailed. I'm going to put it about two thirds of the way along there. There's also a brightness slider. You can have it be a little bit more bright or a little bit less bright. I like it like that. And clean means a few less lines. Of course, less clean means a few more lines. You can also change the pixel size all the way up to 6,000 pixels. That's pretty cool too. And then you can download this as an SVG file. And of course, an SVG file is a scalable vector graphic. That means it is completely, infinitely scalable. Let's pick another image here. I'm going to pick the more complicated car and we can see it instantly creates a vector. And this is really cool if you're making an art print, for example. So you could make this as detailed as you want. I wouldn't use this for a cut file because there's too many nodes. So if you've got like say a laser cutter machine, this probably wouldn't be great because there's just too many nodes. The PNG file that I downloaded is actually pretty big. It's 6,000 pixels by 7,500 pixels. That's like really good for a free option. Let's try Kitty Cat. And we can see here again, you can use the sliders to make this less detailed or more detailed. I'm really happy with the way this looks because you can really tweak instantly how detailed you'd like this to go. And to make surreal art prints or like Picasso-esque or Monet type styled art prints, I think this is a really cool tool. Okay, so I'll put a link in the video description below. This is completely free. He does write right on the website as I scroll on down that you can design, download, and sell. You can create your own decals. You can use it for t-shirts and apparel. I would not suggest sticking Batman or Spider-Man up here. Of course, those are trademarked images, but if you've got a public domain image or if you've got your own photographs, this can be a great great tool. And if you really like this website, make sure to check out the other tools as well. There's a whole bunch of different stuff up here in the top menus, lots and lots of different things, mock-ups, printables, converters. It's a really cool website and it's completely free. So a big thank you to Vector Dad. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital design journey for free.